hello friend so in this presentation or discussion i am going to brief you factor specific compliances in india please keep it interactive uh, you can ask any questions during the session if uh, after the end of the session if you want so uh, basically india in india factor specific compliances there are three areas which are important uh, in fact four areas which are important first is labor compliances second is environment health and safety compliances third is industry specific compliances fourth is taxes and compliances you are may even you are doing audit or when you are doing the review compliances your major time should go the labor compliances and ehs environment health and safety compliances because any regulatory authority if they are inspecting their major thrust is on these two areas factor specific labor compliances but basically is taken care by the human resources department in the company because it's more of a related to labor recruitment labor supervision uh, environment health and safety related compliances basically is taken by the safe either maintenance department or say health and safety department if there's big companies then there will be a uh, separate department for the safety industry specific compliances basically it's related to specific industries for example trucks industries they need to do some compliances in drugs and cosmetic acts similar way there might be different industry and different compliances could be required for that industry taxes and compliances basically it's taken care by the finance department finance and taxes and department in the company so uh, any company if they have different factories then in that case for each factory they need to ensure compliances on these four areas so first we will go through uh, we will i will try to brief you on the labor compliances which is major compliances in any factory labor compliances basically there are different types where the compliances needs to be ensured Major, uh, one such act is the factory act 1948 another such act is the uh, contract labor and abolition act contract labor and abolition act 1970 other com act is other acts are maternity benefit act minimum wages act payment of wages act migrant worker related act Uh, migrant worker from different state related act provident fund act apprentice act employee compensation act industrial dispute act in uh, child labor prohibition related act disability related tax hiv related act security agency related act uh, bonded labor related act bonded labor abolition related act children uh, labor abolition related act Shops and Establishment Act. So these are basically acts which uh, we need to ensure the compliances. Uh, when it comes to environment, health, and safety related compliances, so in that uh, case, there are different act. For example, the Hazardous Waste Management Act. Environment. Uh, there is there's one major act. Uh, the environment uh, in I want to open the correct. I will open the file where I can refer to the acts which 
listing of the edge so please bear with me uh, okay so basically the list of act as far as the environment health and sector related act is air prevention and controls of pollution act water prevention and controls of pollution act environment protection act so uh, environment protection act 1986 basically it's more of a prescriptive nature and for to ensure compliances for the environment uh, different act for example the air pollution water pollution uh, also the uh, noise pollution act so these different acts uh, are maybe you can call the subset because these acts ensure compliances with the environment protection act uh, other health and safety related act is the battery management act biomedical waste related act petroleum act gas cylinder rules electricity act fire safety act um, uh, e-waste management related act, solid waste management related act, uh, environment as hazardous waste related act, explosive act, motor vehicle act. Uh, uh, so basically, these are the main acts, forest conservation acts. So these are the main acts which we need to ensure compliances when we are reviewing the compliances. Industry specific related act says uh, um, as I told you that uh, I that, uh, drugs and safety act uh, pharmaceutical related act also the uh, uh, motor vehicle act so the basically this differs from industry to industry food related act this differs from the industry to industry uh, taxation related act basically it's uh, gst act in india which is uh, which has come into effect from 1st july 1917 before that if period for before that period if we are reviewing then VAT act uh, excise act and uh, uh, anti-tax related act so all these acts before the coming into gst into existence uh, also we need to ensure tds related act related compliances but uh, believe me the if you are devoting your time for the compliances then your major major focus should be to uh, labor a Act and EHS environment health and safety related act. anyway uh, in the maybe you can devote some part time for the uh, the uh, industry specific related act but taxation uh, because anyway the taxation is being taken care by the uh, head office or corporate office so when you are doing the audit for the corporate office related aspect that time you can cover the taxation also but uh, as far as the uh, the uh, audit at factory location is concerned you should devote as i told you you should devote your much of the time for the uh, these two aspects uh, in environment health and safety and uh, labor related aspect so uh, now we'll go through the uh, but uh, each aspect of the uh, each aspect labor ehs and uh, I will try to brief you, uh, brief you on the compliances which are required under these act. So first we come to uh, labor compliances. So first the major labor compliances, major part of your labor compliances will go to Factory Act and Contract Labor Evolution Act, rule, act and Rules. Uh, Payment of Wages Act, Minimum Wages Act. So these are the major things which you ensure the compliances. So uh, first we'll go through the Factories Act. Uh, let me please wait for two minutes. Okay. Now first we go to the Factories Act. So Factories Act basically when any factory opens then there's requirement for the factory license. And generally what happens that factory license might be for certain year number of years 
but each year it has to be renewed second aspect is that uh, renewal uh, the for each year it has to be renewed and when it expires it expires on the basis of many uh, on the calendar year so it's my most of the cases it's expires on 31st december so uh, you need to the factory needs to renew that license within one uh, give the application for the renewal renewal at least uh, one month before the license expires so in case the factory is able to give the license within 30 days before expiry then it's uh, the uh, it's uh, even if it uh, it has not been renewed it's valid if it doesn't the application is not given then in that case this uh, after the expiry factory cannot discontinue the production so when you are reviewing the uh, like the license related compliances if it's in the first year then you need to find, find out whether before the production whether the license application for the license has been given and license has been opted if it is in second or third subsequent years then you need to find out uh, whether the license application for the renewal has been given before one month of the expiry if it has not been given then itself it is a non-compliance even if it has been renewed on timely basis second thing is that uh, if it has uh, uh, if license application for the renewal has been given and even if it is not renewed then it's okay because uh, at least you but you can see that whether the proper follow-up has been done so this is the case as far as compliance is suspect which is as far as the license is concerned now come the map related uh, factory layout related compliances so what happens in any factory uh, layout uh, is sanctioned before the production is before the factory is uh, being construct is constructed and uh, so you need to see whether the app that factory has the approved layout uh, from the factory inspector or factory regulator, whatever the factory authorities are there. In case the approved layout layout has not been approved, then it is non-compliance. Second thing, what happens then? Whenever any renew un, reconstruction or the re um, happens, then they need to opt prepare new factory map renew a uh, new factory map and again they need to take the approval so just check whether any new construction has happened uh, after the approved layout so each after the approved layout last approved layout how you will you will check you take some person a technical person with you and ins inspect the factory Tell him that uh, from the start of the factory to the last of the factory where every floor and every area you inspect and tell ask from the person where is this in layout also try to find out whatever in the layout whether it's there it actually physically is there so in that uh, in that way you can try to find out what are the deviations from the approved factory layout and if there are deviation then that self is not uh, non compliances uh, another thing uh, the any after the any approval of the layout stability certificate has to be opted stability certificate basically it's the uh, uh, mentions that the whatever the layout is there the cost factory production whatever uh, the production is uh, happening the way basically it's it will provide the stability and there could not be major accidents or any any uh, any destruction because of the production so a stability certificate has to be obtained uh, has to be certified by the competent person who are basically competent persons are designated by the government and that has to be approved by the factory chief inspector so our inspector so just check whether the last after the last approved layout whether the stability certificate has been obtained for that approved layout if it is not then it, there might be case that before that 
last approved layout there was a stability certificate but after that uh, layout approval latest layout approval there was no stability certificate then if it is not there then itself that itself is the non-compliances so basically uh, layout related compliances is that there should not be there should be approved layout there should not be any deviation from the approved layout and if it is deviation then uh, whether those deviation has been approved with new approved factory layout whether the la after the last approved layout whether the stability certificate has been obtained and the submitted and tech approval has been obtained from the factory chief Institute. so this is basically the may la uh, factory layout related compliance now comes the display related compliances so uh, basically acts uh, there are many acts labor related act ehs related acts which expects that certain aspects to be displayed in the factory plan certain things has to be displayed in the factory premises so uh, the uh, uh, what uh, for example the factory in case of factory abstract of the acts and rules Factory Act and factory state factory rules has to be displayed in Form 20. Uh, this has this is prescribed in each state. They have to take from the labor department these abstract and they need to display it. So just check whether that display has been done in the factory premises, which is in Form 20. There it, in the display itself, it will be written as Form 20. So whether that display has been done. So this is the other thing. Uh, uh, one more thing I want to tell you that any license related non compliance that it's unless it is very minor it will be high risk issue any factory approved layout or stability related compliances unless it is very minor it will be always be high risk issue display related compliances basically it could be the low risk issue uh, now comes the uh, annual return so this is also a major compliance major things to check so uh, what happens that in every fact every factory has to submit the every factory has to submit the 